I'm going to try to explain how you set certain tones for each VDI number. You can, you can set it, you can set each individual VDI to a different tone. So you'd hit the menu or tab key twice. That brings you into this menu here. Now watch this. In this menu, this is where you access the expert menu. But if you hit the zoom key or button, see how it makes the display a lot bigger, easier to read? So we'll just zoom it in twice or something. So let's get out of there. Okay. Tab, the menu, tab button twice. Arrow down to expert menu. Hit enter. Now we're going to use the down arrow and go down to audio. Hit enter. We're going to go down to tone. Hit enter on tone. Now this is where you can set your threshold and, and like VCO threshold and target tone and all that. But we, we, won't, we won't do that now. We're going to go down to tone ID mode. Hit enter. And we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna say custom. And then we're gonna highlight edit, hit enter. Now this shows us our VDI tones, and uh, like right now minus 95 is set to zero. Now I could hold the right arrow key and see it slowly climbs up to a different tone. Now if I if I push the trigger forward. I can hear the sound it's making as I go up. See that? So it gives me an idea what the tone is going to sound like with the trigger forward. Okay, now, let's say I get up, to, I want to go back to zero. I could either hold down the left arrow and go all the way back, or I could hold, hold the enter key down and then hit the left arrow and it brings me to 65 then back to zero so let's say you know your tones up there a little higher I could hold the inner key down hit the right arrow if I hit it two times I'm all the way over to the to the right and I can hit the key uh, hit the toggle switch forward that's what it's gonna sound like that's what 65 will sound like okay so I mean you don't have to just slowly increase it just hold the inner key down and hit the left or right arrow it'll bring it it'll bring it that way forward or backwards. Now, this is the same way as editing the VDIs. If you want to set the first 10 to 65, you could go down here like this and set that 65. But you do it the same way. You go up to the one that's 65, hold enter, use the down arrow. And it sets every single one of them at 65. I like to, I discriminate, like when I'm hunting for coins, I discriminate out iron anyway so you know it doesn't matter to me but um, but like when coin hunting I set my nickels nickels to one tone my from from zinc penny to, to up to dime a different tone from dime to quarter another tone and from quarter up another tone so I really just set four tones but I just thought that's kind of cool you you know you don't have to sit there and do them one at a time notice how they're going up by 1, 2, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 so once you get all your so, uh, tones set, I just squeeze the trigger a couple times, and then once you play around with it, and you get it, you get the you get it set up the way you want. I always just hit um, hit the tab key twice, arrow down to expert menu, hit enter. Then with program highlighted, I hit enter. Then I'll save. Then I'll go down to save and hit enter. And then, like in this case, I'm working with a relic program, but like I, made, I created my own where I could name them what I wanted. Then you just use a tab key till black. So you see save is black, then you would hit enter. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to back out of it. But hopefully that helped a little.